Are you always hitting the ball out and long and you're just not sure why? Um, guys, I'm going to show you today three steps to help you to keep the ball in and to stop you from hitting the ball out all the time. Okay guys, so the first very common mistake that players make and the reason why they're always hitting the ball out is, is it sounds very basic, but it's so, so important. What's happening is you're not allowing your racket head to do the work. So what players do is, I've had previous videos about this, this as well, is you're gripping the racket just too tight. So if 10 out of 10 is as, hard, as tight as you can, you want to be on, a, on around about 4 out of 10 so you can actually let the racket head do the work. Because I'll show you an example. If you're gripping the racket too hard, trying to get the ball in the court, it's very hard to get top spin, it's very hard to feel the ball, so the ball's just gonna do its own thing. So it's so easy for that ball to go long and out when you're gripping it too hard. If it goes in, you're lucky because you, know, you have no control. In tennis, you gotta understand, if you want more control, you almost have to let go of control. No, let the control go into the racket. It's crazy as that sounds. So what I want you to imagine is relax, grip it four out of ten, and then notice now how my racket head is just gonna go over the ball effortlessly and allow the ball to dip in. Just relax. Notice how that ball is dipping in. Try that the next time you play, guys. St uh, step number two, mistake number two that players make is Again, it's going to sound common, but you've got to understand that if you open up your left shoulder too soon, notice what the racket head does. So I'm in position. If my left shoulder is pulling, look what the racket head does. It's facing up. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of what happens if you hit the ball like that. The ball goes out. My left shoulder, I'm going to pull it. As I pull it, the ball just goes up. Go again. You could get lucky with timing, but again, your consistency is going to be way out. I'll give you one more one with my shoulder pulling. Goes out. So what you want to do is, again, it comes down to allowing the racket to do the work. So once you're in position, let the racket go. Left arm in front. Swing. Look, look at Federer, look at all the guys with the great forehands. There's a reason why they keep their head on the same side. They keep their head still. Because if you keep your head still, your shoulder cannot pull the ball out. Okay, so it should look like this. Still relaxed in my hand. Boom. So whatever you want to tell yourself, keep your head over the ball, keep your head still, keep your eyes watching the ball. That's going to help you not to pull your left shoulder. Okay? Then last thing, guys, I can't not talk about this. It's so important. It's the balance. Okay? Once again, think about it. If I'm hitting the ball, and as I'm hitting it, I'm losing my balance backwards. It's a very common mistake. Players fall back. They fall back. Once again, my racket head, as I fall back, my racket head's gonna go up, okay? It's gonna look something like this. I want you to understand though, there's all these tips, they work together. Can't do one without the other. They're all linked together. So this is me in position, falling back. Very common mistake, especially when players are under pressure and the player is pushing them back, they fall back, okay? What you want to do is you want to get into position, go back first, so you have enough time to still go forward, okay? If the ball goes back and deep, ball goes back and deep, shuffle back so you have enough time to go forward. So it should look like this. Just imagine your body weight is always going a little bit forward after contact point with the head still, with the hand relaxed. So here, back, and then still go forward and forward and forward you'll notice the more you go forward the more the ball dips down guys i can guarantee you if you just focus on those three tips the next time you play your ball is going to stop going out all the time i hope that helps you guys if you like that please share it with a friend and like and subscribe if you haven't yet see you soon